Hey everybody, I just received in the mail the newest Chloe Clark planner, the Purposeful Planner, and I thought I'd share with you my review. Okay, you guys, so first off, this planner is gorgeous. I love the floral design and the gold elements that are used in the planner. I also love the tabs. The tabs are nicely labeled. They're pink. I love pink. I just, I can't get enough of this planner. Now you guys, this planner is big. It is massive. I have the Day on a Page editions. I really like that it has a really big coil. It's a two inch coil that's rather sturdy and the gold complements the pink cover nicely. The interior of the planner features a pocket, a really nice full-size pocket that you can easily put like some stickers or even a sticky pad or of some sort. I might go through and alter it a little bit and add my own elements to try to make it more personal. There's a really nice letter from Corey herself offering words of encouragement to kind of help you with your planning process. And there's also a page detailing the topics featured throughout the planner. I really like the goal-oriented questions that are featured on the Planning with a Purpose page. I feel that writing down goals is very important. This planner features a bucket list, a place to jot down those most wanted to do's. I love that this planner has a four-year calendar spread. I can easily highlight vacation days and then I can glance quickly at both pages to see when those events occur. The individual monthly calendars are printed across two pages and features large text boxes. I love the font that was used all throughout the planner. It's a really nice cursive. And also too, on the monthly spread, there's a really nice motivational quote at the top right. I'm really interested in using the budget sheet to kind of track my spending. I've been meal prepping a lot lately, so utilizing the top 20 meal page will come in handy. If you love organization or you're trying to become more organized, you will definitely utilize this master task list. The list is broken down into specific categories, allowing you to focus on one cleaning project at a time. All throughout the planner, you will see the previous pages mentioned, as well as a dreams and goals page. This specific planner starts July 2015 and runs through June 2016. I do believe there will be a January through December 2016 planner release this fall, so check her Facebook page for more info. It might take me a while to get used to using a day on a page format, but so far I like what I see. There's plenty of room for me to write down my daily schedule. I can track my water intake and my fitness for the day. The day on a page features a brain dump section and a menu section as well as a retail therapy section. I would kind of tweak those a bit. I'm really not into writing the brain dump in my planner. I have a separate notebook for that. So I would use that section to keep track of social media. I would, you know, check off if I posted a video or if I posted to Facebook and Instagram and whatnot. Since the planner already features a monthly section for menu prepping, I don't need the little menu box at the bottom of my daily page, so I'm going to make that a don't forget box. It'll be a place where I can write down important stuff like don't forget to feed the neighbor's cats. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in seeing how I decorate and organize my planner, follow me on social media as well as here on YouTube.